The public protector Tulima Donsala, a.k.a. the tender slayer, has been causing all kinds of havoc for those so-called hyenas amongst us. But don't worry, my tender and fire pool loving friends, I have good news for you. Her term, which has lasted a long seven years, will be coming to an end next year. And if you dodgy people, people, have it your way, you will replace her with someone who understands how you guys do things. I mean, who does this woman think she is? Can you guys even remember the name of the last public protector? Mm -mm. Well, me neither. Me neither. I'm sure when it comes to picking the next one, our comrades will not allow someone with that sort of nerve or weave anywhere near the public protector's chair. Anyway, let's talk about this uh, 206 million rand spent by our number one on its safety and comfort. Madon Sela has found most of the upgrades were to secure the president's private home. But several were not, including the cattle crawl, chicken run, pool and amphitheater. Come on, sis Tuli. Come on, man. Don't you understand that the president's chickens and cows need to feel secure in order for him to feel secure? Eh? How is he going to feel safe if his livestock doesn't have the safest accommodation money can buy? And how can he feel safe if he has nowhere to swim when that brutal son of KwaZulu Natal starts beating on him like an apartheid police? Have you ever seen how dark those people from Devon look? Our oh, guys, come on. Number one was just trying to avoid his complexion being ruined. Don't do this to us. The public protector has now recommended Zuma repay a portion of these funds. Pay back the money. I'm a, are, are you serious, Tuli? You know how big our president's family is. You know how many wives he has to keep happy. I'm an I'm an Tuli. Do you think Shabir Sheikh saw a cent of the money that he loaned to the president? Don't be silly, man. He must explain in parliament. Explain in parliament. Have you? The president has already told you. Hmm? He knows nothing. Leave the man alone, man. I can tell you sitting here, there are things they've done I don't know. In fact, they will tell you I'm not supposed to know. You see, guys, when you are the president and you arrive at your house, you arrive, and there, there are workers all over the place building things, you don't ask questions. You don't ask questions. You don't go, who are these strange men putting tiles in my kitchen? I mean, who knows? I mean, why would you ask? You are just the president. Ask for what? Ask for who? I mean... We all knew this before we voted the guy in as a president. Hmm? What were you expecting? A president who knows things. Ah, man, South Africa, man. Ah, man. That Madonsela is the problem, right? Right? Now, our president's enemies know how much he likes swimming. Hmm? Three million rand on a pool. Soon our president will be a better swimmer than Rick Netling. He'll be in parliament going, Mr. President, you need a ride. No, I will swim there. Backstroke, baba. Baba, 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 baba. And Gwero Mantashe, keeping up with the theme of we've got a good story to tell, had this to say. In the ANC, doesn't have a private residence called Ghana. His private residence is called Chief Albert Lutulaus. Oh, yeah, yeah, we heard, right? The president has nothing to do with the ANC and vice versa. The way the ANC is trying so hard to conveniently distance themselves from government, Gwero Mantashe might as well have said... Who is this Jacob Zuma you speak of? Who is this Jacob? Who I've never heard of this man. I don't know this man. And then there are those busy bodies out there from opposition who like to stick their noses in other people's business. Given these damning findings, I will be submitting a formal request to the Speaker of the National Assembly, Max Sisulu, to recall the National Assembly as a matter of urgency to initiate impeachment proceedings against President Zuma. Hey guys, I don't think you guys understand. This man beat 740 charges. Who do you guys think you are? Hey, coming after my president. Our president has told you before, his party is going to rule until Jesus Christ comes back. Until then, shut your mouth, man. Shut for your mouth. But you know who I really feel sorry for? You know who I really feel sorry for? The architect who had to design the whole thing. I mean, the guy... 
only got paid 60 million rand a month, only 16 million for trying to help his friend Jacob Zuma feel safe. And he did it without having a security check. A real special guy, man, this guy, man. And now he's got to listen to the public protector make him seem like the bad guy in the public eye. No, man. No, man. This is not what you get for trying to help a friend. <laughs> News that moves. ENCA.com.